Go ahead. It's the tune. Yeah, dude, they look so much better now that uh, that's all on and it's clean. Mm -hmm. 20 bucks well spent, dude. 20 bucks? 20 or 30, I don't remember. I'll give you 10 bucks right now. For that? Damn. I'll PayPal you 10 bucks. <laughs> You grab the wire, through it. That way it sits. That way the wire is not pinched or anything. Okay. That's it? That's it. All right, so we're putting that onto the fowler. Yeah. It's like... Ah. Okay. So, real quick guys, the front pipe is on, we tightened it as best as we can, you guys are just going to have to f figure out how to do that, it was really difficult for us, to be honest, and 
I haven't been really recording because, oh my god, I'm so out of breath, dude. Yeah, it's hard. Front pipe is on, down pipe right here. I'm gonna start putting these pieces right here back on, and we should be good to go. I I think the front pipe is good, right? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do a sound check. One, two, one, two. You wanna get out? Nah, turn it all down. <laughs> So we ran into two problems. This bolt that goes on the top heat shield up here, I lost two of them somewhere in the bay. Hector and Hex and I cannot find it to save our life. We're gonna go ahead and rock without that. Um, oh, Hector, we need to install all this back. We ended up not taking this out, even though the instruction said to. We were able to get all that out without it. Fun. It it sucked. Yeah. But we were able to do that. So while you do that, I'm gonna work on the bottom part, get the last bolts on, and we should be good to go to uh, do a sound check. Yeah, don't don't hire us. <laughs> God damn it, Hector, you piece of shit. Yeah. What'd you forget? Oh, it doesn't reach. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't we have this problem when we first installed it? Yes. Yeah. But like, it's been the like intake was the only part we installed at my house. Yeah. <laughs> For this part, yes. On. 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 Everything on, on the bottom's good. Everything's tightened up. On. Oh, two sensors on. 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 Let's get all this unnecessary stuff off. Did you plug in both sensors? Yeah. Yeah, both sensors are in. Hello. It's like the first time I did a lot of it too. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> like all the bullshit, all bullshit aside, like. <laughs> it's just I just needed the extra pair of hands and the the room. You earned, you earned your sweat today. You want to check for exhaust leaks? I don't have any lights on right now, but... All good? Yep. Down there? What about up here? Or like by the... Yeah, that's where I was just checking there. I was like, what's that smell? It's a fucking oil burning off. Yeah. Or the PV blaster. Yeah. Oh. You're good. Wow. Louder? That uh, sounded really good. It's not as loud as I thought it would be, but it sounds more toned, more refined, if that makes sense. Let's see. Now we gotta, I can put everything back. I just need your help putting back the, what's I'm gonna call all it? The, yeah. All the plastic stuff and start putting everything away. So we're just gonna be putting that back on and that back on, and that's it. So I'll get back to you guys in a bit.
we had more trouble connecting the front pipe to the cat back. Uh, I guess the holes weren't lining up and we we somehow managed to like just wiggle it a little bit more. We failed to understand that we should have uh, loosened up the cat back a little bit, the four ways cat back just a little bit so it can give more wiggle room. So <laughs> eventually everything lined up and everything's good. There's no leaks, there's nothing going on with it. The car sounds amazing guys. It is definitely bassier and more throatier when I punch it. So I'll be doing a video on that soon. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, why didn't you go catless, blah, 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 look. One, I don't like how catless sounds. I feel like it's too raspy for these cars. And on top of that, it's not that I'm scared to go catless even though I live here in California. I've been catless for like five years on my eighth gen. I had no problems whatsoever, you know? But just in general, I wanted to go with a high flow cat. So it's, I. I don't regret getting it. I feel like it was the smart way for me, the best way for me to go. And it is actually, a high flow cat is actually more expensive than a cat list. So, it's, you're getting it for a reason, you know? So I did my research, it's what I wanted to do. So, power wise, I'm not gonna feel a huge difference in the power wise. You guys know I'm not a power hunger person. Like, I like more how it feels, how it sounds. And right now, it sounds great. So, I cannot wait to drive this more around so I can break in the downpipe and the front pipe a little bit because I know it does get a little bit louder over time uh, once everything gets uh, settled in. So, it's only been one day. I didn't really get to drive it as much today because I took my lady's car to work and this car has just been sitting here the entire day, so. But anyways, guys, I know like the install today was uh, a little bit different. We don't get distracted uh, at Hector's house because he had stuff going on. He still was able to do me the favor of helping me install this on the car. With the turbo inlet piping, I know there is a way to do it. There has to be a different way, but dude, could not for the life of us, these parts right here, we could not for the life of us get back there. We couldn't find it. My, my, my hands literally did not fit. So we couldn't do anything right there. I mean, how other people did it, I don't know. I am not looking forward to doing the turbo inlet piping and big and a bigger turbo for the future. It's gonna suck trying to get those parts out. So. I might do some experimenting when I do the intercooler because I have to take the bumper out. If I take out the headlight from the passenger side, that should give me more than enough room to actually wiggle parts in there. By then I'll have a better tool where it's like, like a magnetic tool for, so that the nut doesn't fall. But I'm hoping by then I should have a little bit better tool set. Anyways guys, uh, this video took a little bit longer to edit and to get out. Uh, only because, like I said, I had to work today and then tomorrow I have stuff to do. So I'm gonna try to get this video out as best, as fast as I can. And if you guys notice a little bit different on the quality of the camera, I am using my Canon T6i again. I'm gonna step away from the GoPro a little bit. That way I can actually get a better audio and better lens. With the GoPro, I'll probably use it for like my POV car vlogs. But when it comes to actual vlogging, I'm gonna try to stick next to the Canon. So let me know what you guys thought about the Canon. If you guys think that this quality is better than the GoPro or if you guys prefer the GoPro better than the Canon so let me know right there so but anyways guys that's gonna be it for today's video I'll see you guys in another video you guys have a good day take care peace